Good morning. Today is the 13th, Friday the 13th, for you superstitious folks out there. Uh, I'm not. Uh, from what I understand, there's not many Friday 13ths in our lifetime. The next one, from what I heard, was, I believe, in 2045, but I could be wrong. But anyway, I just wanted to touch base with everyone again. Uh, I wish everybody a happy day today. Uh, more importantly, I hope we all have a very sober day. Um, let's put all addictions aside. Um, one way to start for every, anyone that's just starting out is to take it one day at a time. Uh, if you went out last night, you did whatever drugs you might have done or drank whatever alcohol you might have had, uh, let today be the first day of the rest of your life. Uh, sober today makes for a clear and bright tomorrow. So let's start today. Uh, for the folks that have been sober or off drugs uh, for a while now, uh, congratulations, keep going. Uh, welcome all the new people. Let's continue. Let's start all over. Let's have a full force, full drive uh, to make today the first day for the rest of your life. Um, I'm, I'm a very strong believer uh, that um, we need to concentrate on just today. Two things you cannot do is do not worry about yesterday because you can't change yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Uh, you can learn from it and uh, move forward. And of course, we cannot worry about tomorrow because we need to get through today. I mean, here it is probably around, I don't know, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And we still have at least another 12 hours till tomorrow starts. And a lot can happen in 12 hours. Believe me, I used to be able to drink tremendous amount of vodka within an hour. So can you imagine what can happen in 12 hours? So take step by step, one day at a time, and you'll find that the days will go by. You'll find that it becomes easier. And you'll also find uh, there will be challenges. There'll, there'll be closed doors that you need to open and walk through. And, and just keep remembering that uh, there is so much more to live for than alcohol and drugs. Uh, there's your health, there's your family, there's loved ones. Uh, there's so much more, so do yourselves a favor. Put down your drink. Put down whatever drug you might be on as you're looking at this. And just give me about 10 minutes to explain my story of how I had a rough life growing up around alcohol and drinking it myself and how I came full force crash down to, to finally say I've had it, I want my life back, and I want to move forward. So I'm going to uh, not go back all the way into my teenage years, although that's when most of the drinking started, but I'm going to go right into uh, the military days where uh, we'd go out with the guys, um, we'd go and get totally wasted, totally drunk, and next morning try to make a uh, make our uh, platoon meetings, to make our uh, uh, whatever whatever meetings or wherever we had to go, we tried to make it. Uh, we were hungover, we were not doing very well, but that's pretty much where the major drinking started. Uh, for you folks that were in the military, uh, uh, I being a, a Marine, I spent a couple um, what they called NATO floats where you'd go on a ship for about six months, finally hit land. And what do you do? Two things you look for, and that's uh, drugs, alcohol, uh, and uh, women. Uh, well, those are three things. But drug and alcohol falls under the uh, under the poison part of the uh, conversation there. So it's one, and then women. Uh, so after the military, I continued drinking. Now responsibilities came about, a family, uh, uh, children, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, what do most people do? They, um, they get stressed out, builds, whatever. And uh, for me, it was drinking to not get rid of the bills and not get rid of the stress, but to uh, numb myself from it temporarily. Uh, so then it just kept going. Um, the people around me would notice my drinking. Uh, some people that loved me enough had the courage to bring it to my attention. And me being the stubborn German, slash alcoholic would ignore I would say yeah 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 I'll quit I'll just have a couple more and then uh, of course uh, continue on my alcohol campaign uh, 
I don't want to say um, that I've never had drugs because in college I did uh, smoke marijuana. Uh, it didn't do anything for me like alcohol does, which is uh, instant gratification. And that's what I was looking for, that instant high. So um, I would just continue. Uh, now I'm going to fast track. Let's put a fast forward, go right into June of 2013. Uh, every day I'd find an excuse to leave the house uh, and uh, uh, look to, to pick up a sh couple shots of vodka and just drink it. And, and uh, it would pretty much just get me through each and every day, those shots of vodka. A um, couple people around me noticed uh, my, my alcoholism, like I stated previously. The ones that loved me enough brought it to my attention, but it didn't do anything. So I finally had to crash. And, and that's exactly what I did. I crashed, and um, when I say crashed again, uh, I didn't crash in an automobile, I didn't crash in a plane, but what I did is I crashed uh, physically, mentally, and uh, it was June of 2013. I finally said to myself, that's it. I'm done. I want my life back. I want my family to be with me, and I want to live longer. And that's when I finally decided to uh, quit my drinking. I did attend a couple AA classes. Uh, I think I've said this previously in one of my other videotapes. Uh, for me, AA just did not work. Uh, I needed to find something that I knew I could use uh, to help me. And it wasn't sitting in an in AA meeting and, and people just sharing their stories, although that's very important because I'm doing it right now with you. However, for me, I had a bigger calling. Um, I decided to help others because I read an article about um, let help the helper. I'm the helper and I want to help you because by helping you, I'm helping me. Uh, each and every day, it helps me uh, to write, to post, to, to do whatever I need to do to keep me alert of my, my disease. And uh, uh, if you go to www.clearviews.info and go to the comment section, you'll read some of the comments that people have left me. Um, there are a lot of people out there that just have what I have. It's, 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 I'm not the only person with a disease called alcoholism. There are a lot of people, and they're within my, my uh, circle of um, friends, family. Uh, some are total strangers that just go to my website, and uh, they see uh, all the uh, uh, postings. Matter of fact, I had another uh, company not a company, I shouldn't say that, an organization that also does pretty much what I do, which is helping others, say to me, listen, your website is so informative. You have so much stuff on there. We'd like to know if we can piggyback our web address onto your website to help people uh, that look at their website uh, um, to, to, you know, I, excuse me, that more or less what they were trying to say is they want to piggyback their website address onto my website so when people look at my website because i do have a lot of people looking at it they want uh, people to say oh let me click on this and i don't want to use the name i want to click on this particular website to see what other information is out there uh, sorry for the hesitation but i had to think exactly what i was trying to say um, so that's that's pretty much uh, what i do on a daily uh, basis is that i try to help others uh, i every day go onto my website and I post, I refresh, I renew uh, to keep the curiosity of what's going on out there in the alcohol slash addiction slash drug world and uh, for people to want to come to my website. I also have a, a Facebook page besides my personal page and it's called uh, clearviews.info also which I also refre uh, refresh daily. So you will find a lot of information uh, in both those areas. And um, uh, about a week and a half ago, I decided to maybe once or twice a week also make a video. Uh, so you get a face behind this person that actually uh, has this problem that you might be having right now or had have. Although, uh, uh, even though we have had the addiction issues, they'll always be with you. and. Uh, uh, because it's it's a disease, uh, but there's a way to to live with it and to conquer it, and that's doing what I do daily. And and I hope to God that there is somebody right now out there that's looking, that's saying, listen, I want I want to be not like me, but I want to feel like him. I want to be a person 
that can wake up in the morning with a clear memory of what happened to the prior day. And uh, you can be that person, but you need to have that strength. You need to, to finally say, I've had it. I don't want to be part of this addiction life anymore. Um, I, I hope and pray daily that somebody's watching, whether it being on this video or somebody's reading on my website, I just want to repeat the address because it's important. It's www.clearviews.info. Just go on there. There's uh, probably about 10 or 11 pages worth of information. Uh, on page um, 7, uh, you'll find a rehab center in any state. You just click on the state and it'll give you rehab, a rehab center. So if there's somebody watching this video right now that's not uh, in the New York State area, uh, find your state and uh, get in touch with that organization. Um, I, I just want to emphasize the point that uh, it is a daily struggle. I am not, uh, I'm not out of being an alcoholic. I am still an alcoholic. However, I've learned to live and to, uh, and to control my alcoholism. So uh, if, if you folks can get to the point where you can live with it each and every day, and it might be just living with it by finding an alternative. Some folks might find eating an alternative, although I tried that and it, it, yeah, it, it's great. It tastes good and all that, but it's not good for your health. Uh, I, I find that my calling is, is to communicate with you folks um, to help you, whatever addiction you might have, to help you with providing you with information, whether it being by video, articles, games, uh, a video, whatever it might take to help you folks. That's what I want to do, and uh, and 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 I hope you 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 folks that are watching this and and absorb the information I'm giving you, absorb it, let it sink in, and you go day by day and become. A recovering alcoholic, a, an alcoholic that can live with the fact that you are an alcoholic or somebody with an addiction, but uh, live with it, control it, and that you go out and branch out and branch out to your friends that might have the same issue. You might find that my method does work because it works for me, and I hope to God it works for you. I always say that there is nothing, nothing impossible. Everything is possible if you set your mind including your addiction, including alcoholism. Those years, I kept saying I wanted to quit. I did quit here and there, but my mind wasn't set. It was just a temporary thing. Back in June of 2013, my mind finally uh, made up its mind, literally, and said, I've d I'm done. I'm done with this. So uh, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. And, you know, Folks, you need to adhere to these words that nothing is impossible and don't you ever, ever give up. Because the minute you give up is when the disease takes you uh, to places that you were at one point. They will, that disease will overcome uh, your will to, to recover and it will just absorb you back into the bottle, absorb you back into the glass or up the nose or whatever your drug of choice or your alcohol choice is that addiction, that method will just absorb you and you'll be back in that predicament again. So you don't want to. So you cannot give up. you got to keep moving forward uh, day by day. Just keep going. And um, uh, before I go now, I just want to say this, is that nothing, nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it. So today, just say, I am done with my addiction. I want to, to live a better life, and I will start today, today only. Tomorrow's a whole new day. Then you can say that same thing again and keep going. So nothing is impossible. Never, ever, ever give up. I promise you, if you don't give up, you will succeed in this. Don't you dare ever give up. You are somebody that deserves to have a better life. So please move forward step by step day by day and i hope to talk to you folks real soon and a sober today makes for a clear tomorrow go to www.clearviews.info for more information and have a great great day please do not drink do not use drugs and have a sober today for a clear tomorrow hope to see you real soon have a great day bye bye